XRP community, welcome back to the channel. It's me, James Rule XRP. Follow me on Twitter at Rule XRP. This is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a financial advisor, and the things we go over today, it is very important that you go step by step if you're going to do this. And I am not responsible for whatever happens whenever you do this. This, uh, I posted this today, and what it is, it's Vitsevin is showing us how to prepare uh, our XRP addresses to claim Spark tokens on the Flare Network. Now, Vitsevin is not affiliated with Flare Networks, and he gives step by step, a step by step guide on how to set up your account. To accept these tokens and like I said before I am not responsible I'm just going through a few of the steps here I want to show you I was able to successfully attach this to my sum wallet and when I went in to attach my ledger nano X XRP wallet to the XRP toolkit I had some issues and I have since sent Vitsevin a message on this post here and I'm just waiting for a response. All right. If you're not familiar with this, Vitsevin created an app and it's called Sum. It's spelled X-U-M-M. -M. And what it is, it's a mobile app that allows you to set up an XRP wallet and you could send XRP back and forth to individuals very easily with this app. There is a 20 XRP minimum for setup, just like any other XRP wallet. And check it out, Sum. Get the Sum app. Also, XRP Toolkit is involved in this preparation for claiming your Spark tokens. XRPToolkit.com. I'm going to leave a link to everything we cover here in the description of this video. And like I said, I'm just going over some things. I was successfully able to attach this information to my Sum XRP wallet. All right, this is the article, the call article that was written by Vitsevin. I'm going to cover it. Bear with me. We're going to go through it, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. Vitsevin, preparing for claiming your Spark tokens at the Flare Network, a tool for some and XRP toolkit. At some point in the future, the Flare Network will be launched by the people at Flare Networks. The native token of the Flare Network is Spark, just like the native token of the XRP Ledger is XRP. The Flare Network and the XRP Ledger are separate ledgers based on entirely different underlying technology, each with their own characteristics, advantages, and use cases. The two ledgers will be in a relationship together, though. Here's a somewhat technical but step-by-step -step explanation. I'm not going to click on it. It's pretty lengthy of how the XRP token on the XRP ledger relates to the FXRP token representing XRP on the Flare network and how the native Flare network Spark token comes into play. At some point in the future, the people at Flare networks will launch their actual network and distribute the native Spark token. In short, all people holding XRP in non-custodial wallets, you keep your keys, will be eligible to claim Spark tokens. Some exchanges will distribute Spark as well. Uh, I've seen that BitTrue is working on this. I'm, I'm not sure if Coinbase or Uphold are on this yet, but you will have to wait and see. If you own XRP and an exchange that doesn't participate, you can still withdraw your funds to your own non-custodial XRP ledger account using the Sum Wallet. Read on for more information. And I do have the Sum Wallet. It is my own XRP address attached to that Sum Wallet. Before I continue, this is Vitsi Man. I'd like to emphasize that I am not part of the Flare team. Don't have more details or information like timelines, etc., but have no financial incentive to promote Flare Network and or the Spark token. As a founder of XRP Labs working on some, a non custodial XRP Ledger wallet, I would simply like to offer users and Ledger Nano users using XRP Toolkit a way to. 
prepare for the Spark token distribution. Please note, I'm not the right person to ask questions about Flare Network, the Flare project, the Spark token, the Spark token distribution, the amount of Spark tokens to receive, the distribution timeline, etc. Please reach out to Flare Network's team if you have any questions. All right, receiving Spark tokens. Spark tokens will be distributed at a moment that is still to be announced by the Flare team on the Flare Network. Based on the amount of XRP owned on the XRP ledger, the way this will work. XRP Ledger account holders will need an account, private key and account for the Flare Network. Private key and account can be generated already to be used in the future on the Flare Network once the network is ready. XRP Ledger account holders will prove account of ownership by signing a reference pointing at their account on the Flare Network. This reference will be stored in a message key field on the account level on the XRP Ledger. Okay, this means your R account address on the XRP ledger will point at your OX account on the Flare network. Once the Flare network and team is ready, they will announce this in advance. They will read all XRP ledger accounts pointing to the Flare network accounts, check their balances, and distribute an equal amount of spare Spark tokens to the Flare network account pointed at in the XRP ledger account. Users with example 1000 XRP in their own account on the XRP ledger will then own 1000 Spark in their other account on the Flare network. A tool for some and XRP toolkit users. It is an easy step by step process that this tool will show you. And before I show you this tool, never enter your secret key, secret numbers mnemonic or any other secret information anywhere to claim your spark tokens use only tools software and wallets from trusted vendors you are risking all your funds using some the ios and android amp and the ledger nano using xrptoolkit.com is safe all right let's go to it if you click here and launch the tool it is going to show you this page claim spark Flare Network Tokens, a tool for XRPL account holders and some users. Use this tool at your own risk. Like I said when I started this video, I am not responsible for your actions. If you go in here and it does not work for you, I am not responsible. I'm just relaying the information, but I was able to successfully do this on my SUM account. All right, check the first one. I understand that I and only I am responsible from my own crypto secret wallet blockchain security actions and interactions second check i understand that this tool is provided on a voluntary and best effort basis and i indemnify vitsevin the creator of this tool sum and xrp labs from all liability claims damages etc i understand this tool is provided on a voluntary and best effort basis and i understand that the support about flare the spark token etc I will have to contact Flare, Flare Networks. I understand that nobody other than the people at Flare will be able to assist me with questions about distributing amount and timing. I realize, understand, and agree that by taking the steps to claim Spark tokens, a reference between my account on the Flare Network and the XRP ledger will become public info on the XRP ledger. I understand that the XRP ledger uses blockchain technology resulting in this being forever publicly visible. I understand that if I provide incorrect information in this form, Spark tokens may be distributed to an account inaccessible by me without the possibility of compensation, compensation or recovery. So what he is saying here in this last comment, it is very, very important that you put the correct information in these next steps that we're going to cover. All right, continue. All right, there's two ways to set this up. You can do a sum app sign-in to claim your Spark tokens, or you can use the XRP toolkit, which I did because I already had an account set up. I'm going to continue by not using sum. All right, generate an Ethereum account. This is optional. What you need to do, you have to use an Ethereum account that is not on an exchange. You have to have your own Ethereum account, either on a Ledger Nano or on a wallet app. 
uh, I'm going to you you can right here you can create your own Ethereum account at myetherwallet.com. If you already have a non-custodial Ethereum compatible account that looks like this, generated from a private key mnemonic or hardware wallet you own to have access to, you can skip this step. So I'm going to skip the step. And right here you provide an Ethereum compatible account address. Please enter your Ethereum compatible account address. A reference to this address will be stored on the XRP ledger using the message key field on your XRP ledger account. This reference will be public. Please never enter an Ethereum compatible address generated by a custodial service. Do not use your Coinbase Ethereum. Do not use your BitTrue. Do not use your Uphold Ethereum address. It has to be an independent Ethereum address that you created. Okay. Please never use Ethereum compatible addresses generated for you by an exchange. Remember that. Okay. I'm going to go in here and click on an address I put in and it is going to generate a new code. Your Ethereum compatible address will now have to be stored in a message key field on the XRP ledger on your account. This way, Flare Networks can determine the account on the Flare ledger is owned by you, your XRP ledger account. This way, the token distribution contract knows which XRP ledger account contains the balance to read for Spark token distribution. Okay, what you need to do, you have to open the XRP toolkit and connect your wallet. In the menu bar, you go to account and select the properties menu item. Look at the account properties page for message key. Paste the value displayed below in the message key field and click the update button. Follow the instructions and sign the transaction. All right, this is my XRP toolkit account. I have an XRP wallet here containing 21.99 XRP. And this is the page. If I go to account and I go to properties and I go to message key, I have already updated and entered this information. I copied and pasted this message key at the bottom of the page into the message key field on my page, updated it, and then I had to verify it. It is now attached to this XRP wallet. So I'm assuming, and I haven't received an answer on this yet, that whenever Spark goes to, or whenever uh, the Spark tokens are distributed on the Flare network, I'm going to have to transfer my XRP from my Ledger Nano to this wallet to receive those Spark tokens. Now, I went in earlier and I attached my Ledger Nano account to the XRP toolkit, but unfortunately when I went in to put in a key, it would not let me do it. So I'm waiting on a response back from Vitsavin on this. And I'm assuming if you set up your XRP toolkit with just your Ledger Nano X or Nano S XRP address, I'm assuming it will take the first time. But as I said before, I already set up my XRP toolkit and it mirrors my sum account. So, but anyway, this is the way you do it. You go in the properties and you put this message key in here, update it, and it will be attached to your XRP address for the Spark token. All right, let's take a quick look at prices. All right, uh, current market cap is 368,554,000,000 Bitcoins, 11,623. Ethereum is at $389 and XRP is at 28.1 cents. Take your time, check out the Sum app, check out the XRP toolkit, uh, attach your Ledger Nano X or S to the toolkit and see if this works for you. Follow me on Twitter at RuleXRP. I will be providing tutorial videos. I hope this video helps you. Take your time when setting up this. I'm not responsible. Have a great day. Take care.